Hello and welcome to another video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video, I will be talking about API architecture styles and I will be discussing five of the most popular architecture styles that you can look into and consider for your integration projects. These architecture styles serve different type of purposes and depending on the specific use case, you have to decide the best possible architectural style for your integrations. Whenever we have to integrate different applications and systems, APIs play a very important role and the design of API and the architecture that has been followed uh, in the design and implementation of those APIs is, is extremely significant and important. The decision to select the right approach in the right architectural style is very important and depending on different use cases it varies that which particular you, uh, architectural style best serves the purpose so now let's look into all of these popular architectural style and try to understand the significance of each and the use case uh, for which each architectural style uh, fits into the picture The first and the most popular architectural style for APIs is REST, which stands for Representational State Transfer, and REST-based APIs have been in market for quite long time. REST is based on HTTP standards, and that's the biggest and the most important uh, attribute associated with this uh, type of uh, uh, API architecture because uh, uh, based on the HTTP standards and HTTP verbs, it exposes the resources uh, through different type of HTTP methods and makes the things uh, quite convenient uh, in terms of uh, API exposure and API implementation. It's a widely adopted approach and most of the uh, situations whenever you are interacting with different websites and web services, uh, uh, potentially those are uh, based on REST architecture. Implementation of Rust uh, is based on the API specifications and uh, you can uh, use JSON as well as XML. Both uh, type of uh, uh, data formats are, uh, are available in case of Rust based API, APIs or web services. And you can uh, implement your uh, Rust based APIs with proper security standards and following all of the latest uh, cutting edge integration technologies. The second most uh, popular API architectural style which is in the market since long and it is considered as a legacy uh, API architectural style, it is SOAP uh, which is XML based. SOAP has been in the market for, uh, since quite long and if you look into different type of uh, old implementations of APIs from, uh, from decade old uh, uh, services you will see that SOAP has been uh, a very popular choice uh, by that time. It is considered to be a bit complex uh, in terms of its structure and the way we uh, pass the data between the, uh, between the applications uh, in this client server architecture, yet it is considered quite powerful and secure. And that's the reason uh, if you look into most of the financial services are similar type of uh, such APIs where uh, data is quite data criticality uh, is at its peak then those in those situations and in those use cases soap is considered a more preferred approach the next uh, architectural style that we will discuss is graphql uh, which is uh, also a very popular and sophisticated type of api architectural style and uh, even uh, facebook uses graphql and the beauty of this API architectural style is that it gives you option to get exactly what you want, which means you don't need to go for overfetching or uh, underfetching. And within the GraphQL, uh, with the query language uh, supported by GraphQL, you exactly pinpoint to the required data and then you fetch that data directly. And in this way, it's considered to be more flexible and more precise. Of course, some, there are some downsides uh, as well associated with it because uh, when you have this type of more granular and precise type of uh, fetching, then it is considered to have more load and more uh, um, 
type of processing involved on the server side so it is considered to be a best fit only in the situations where you have to specifically fetch some data uh, in a way that uh, you uh, you can afford some sort of uh, uh, extra processing on the server side but the client is interested to get exactly what is needed then another popular style is grpc and uh, it's uh, by google and it's it uses remote uh, procedural call uh, uh, contrary to what we have seen in the other cases where we have uh, for example in kf of rest we have resource based uh, uh, data uh, available and in case of graphql also we have a query language which is fetching some specific data from the structure uh, in case of grpc uh, it uses uh, binary data and uh, it uses buffering and it is based on http2 standard it is primarily uh, fit for the microservices architecture and when you are implementing your uh, applications based on microservice architecture then uh, this can really help you to achieve higher performance and a better throughput then the next uh, popular architectural style is web sockets and uh, it is uh, more convenient uh, in the use cases where you need uh, real-time bi-directional traffic for example when you are implementing some uh, application like chatting applications or uh, gaming applications where bi-directional uh, uh, traffic is needed not only from client to server but on the either side so in that scenario uh, web sockets become a primary choice and a popular choice uh, uh, of uh, api architecture these are not the only uh, architectural style there are some additional options also available like mqtt etc but uh, we will not discuss those because uh, uh, the focus is just to uh, highlight the most popular one and widely used architectural styles uh, when, in, when, when it comes to the implementation of APIs. That's it from this video. I hope that uh, the information that has been briefly conveyed in this uh, video tutorial will be helpful for you. Of course, uh, I'll try my best uh, to cover each of these topics in more uh, details uh, in subsequent videos. For that, you need to subscribe to the channel and also if you want more information regarding APIs, integration and other related technologies, you can visit my website tutorialspedia.com where you will find plenty of articles uh, around similar topics. That's it from this video. Thank you very much.